Hello, welcome back. Today we talk about the latest, the newest release uh, from ECM. ECM brought us a new copy or a new, uh, 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 a new item on their, on their luminescence series. We are talking here about nobody less than Mr. Keith Jarrett, Solo Concerts Bre Bremen Lausanne. It's a wonderful box set. I can compare it to my original copy, get into it, and I promise you a very, very, very interesting uh, release. There's much to say about it. Um, like always, so far when it comes to the when it comes to the luminescence series from ECM, we have an all analog reissue. We have a very interesting, beautiful recreation of the original packaging. Uh, here we go into this into detail a little bit because they did some interesting things. And yeah, let's start. Let's start with the with the packaging. It comes in this wonderful box. Here is the uh, the, the 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 reissue box. They also put in a booklet that was also part of the original. The reissue has a little sturdier paper, a little rougher paper, so uh, that you have a little higher quality standard when it comes to, to this, to this uh, brochure, to this booklet. So very well done. Another difference, and let's get into the differences of the packaging because they are quite, quite interesting in my opinion. So here we have the reissue, and here we have the original. And and, and of course you easy can see here is the reissue, and here is the original. So they choose the modern approach, the nowadays ECM logo. The, the labels and 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 didn't stick with the with the old ones okay this is a cosmetic thing interestingly when it comes to the wonderful box set they also changed the lettering the font of the spine and they did it in my opinion for quite a good reason because on the original uh get sharp it's it's stiff come on sir here we go. You see, you with the new edition, you can read it way, way, way better. And, and I think that was the reasoning behind it, to change it a little bit. It's also a little bit less dark, the blue, a little bit. It might also have to do something with the aging process. But it seems to me that they choose this little lighter blue, not much little. And, and this all helps when you have it in the shelf that you can see it, read it and, and, and grab it. Of course, we do a comparison and of course we get into, into the music, into, into uh, this, the music of this box set and, and how is the reissue compared to the original. You know, it's, it's astonishing if you consider that those concerts from Keith Jarrett are completely improvised. That's, that's a breathtaking aspect while you listen, because for me it doesn't sound like improvised. It, it's, 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 it's amazing. It's amazing. Beautiful piano music and I, 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 I smiled a little bit when I, when I listened to them because when the audience starts, they of course uh, applaud him, gave him his, his, his welcome, which is very well put in both uh, versions, but then it's silent. So not the village vanguard atmosphere in a way where, where the next drink seems to be more important than what's happening on stage. So you almost can feel that this audience is at awe when he plays and, and, and is just sitting there and, and 
enjoying it. So that's my interpretation and, and it's, it's a wonderful, wonderful listening experience. It's, it's really st a striking experience. If you haven't heard, if you haven't get, gotten into this, do so because, wow, amazing. So far, the Luminescence series reissues really stood up to the originals very, very well, which is not an easy undertaking and I'm, I'm, I'm really surprised so far that they managed to do it in this great way because the originals, the ECM originals are outstanding, good sounding versions. So their own competition is, is, is quite high. When I looked at the matrix number of the reissue, I am under the impression that they really did a lot of test pressing, meaning they really got into it and, 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 and uh, uh, really, really, really went for the detail. And this luckily pays out. We have an amazingly great sounding live piano performance. You know, immediately, I, I just mentioned it, when the audience starts uh, 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 applauding, wow, the whole room, you're, you're sitting in the audience. It's, it's beautiful. And then the piano starts. And you know, remember, maybe some of you remember, because some of you saw it when I did my stream with Michael Fremer, the last one, when we talked about uh, his, his uh, record release, the record he produced. We also talked a bit about the sometimes not so hot presentations of piano. Here it is quite the opposite. We only have piano, but in an astonishing reissue, a really, really great job. The piano is so natural. It's, it's the size of the piano is so realistic. It's not too huge. It's not too small. You have so much movement in it. It's, it's perfect. The representation, the recreation of this life experience with a piano on con on, 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 at a concert is amazing. So kudos. This is a 10 out of 10 when it comes to the piano. Also, the packaging is beautiful. So, again, ECM did an amazing job with this Luminescence uh, uh, reissue series so far. I'm really, really happy with it. And I can, I can uh, uh, if you are into this kind of, of improvisational piano music, although when you, when you hear now it's free improvisation, this is very, very accessible. It's not that out there or something like that. If you haven't heard it, try it. Quite interesting, very, very beautiful and a really good presentation as I stated quite some time now, right? <laughs> yeah, so you see me as a happy collector. Wonderful job, can't wait for the next releases. I think among the next titles is Afric Pepperbird from Jan Gabarek. I have the original here. Oh, can they beat this one? Wow, that will be also really, really interesting. We have to see, we have to, to wait until it gets here. I think it gets here February next year. I don't know, sometime something around that. But this will be a tough one so far. Great choices and, and, and the Luminescence series for me is among those series that really, really makes sense to collect, that really, really makes sense to, to uh, spend my money on. And as you might know, and maybe you feel the same, there are not that many series out there where it makes really, really sense. But the Luminescence series is among those. Thank you very much for your time. See you on the next one. Bye.